let me check out the lighting. Okay. Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a overview of how my planner is going to be set up for 2016. So um, over the past couple of days, I've just gone a little bit crazy with um, how to organize everything. And as you can see, my desk is totally dirty. So gross. Um, and that's because um, I've been gluing and whatnot and trying to decorate and create the best system for this agenda and I'm finally done and I'm super happy with the results and I've decided to also film this video today because I created a gift pack for one of my friends as well um, and uh, agenda inserts custom made by myself so I can show you guys those um, as well. So anyways, let's get into it. Um, this is the agenda. This is the Louis Vuitton GM agenda in the Epi Leather Black. Um, this is my second year using it and I absolutely love it. It's so sleek and I'm, I'm filming with one hand and trying to show you guys with another hand. Uh, anyways, let's just get right into it and have a look inside. Okay, so first off, let's have a look. Here. Um, comes with agenda pockets. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the agenda itself. Things that I need um, to have on hand with me all the time. So like I just put that there. Um, this is a sheet of stickers from Sanrio, the Sanrio store. It came with a monthly calendar thing that I purchased and I'm going to show you the inserts inside. Uh, when I get into it, but I just decided to put those there. Uh, I'm, I don't, I, they're all in Japanese. I'm not really sure what each one of these means and how I'm going to utilize these stickers, but just kept this here for now, um, and I'll decide on that later. Over here, I have these Hello Kitty stickers that I also purchased from the San Rio store, and I think anyone who is like a cutesy kind of planner lover should go check out San Rio store right now because they have a lot of these perfect sticky notes that um, I purchased a lot of. Um, for this year and I'm going to just quickly show you guys some of them right now. This is like that new egg one. Um, obviously twin stars and I also got a backup of the Hello Kitty ones and then I also got the My Melody ones as well. And the reasons why I did um, decided to purchase so many of these is functionality wise these little tiny little tabs are the perfect size for um, the hourly, I don't know, time slots. And I like using these to write in whatever appointments and then sticking them on inside because if you have the Louis Vuitton agenda inserts uh, for the GM size, it comes with the hourly kind of setup and it's really great for that. Anyways, moving on. Um, over here I have this laminated card. It says friends on it, but I just really liked it for like this little pattern right here. Uh, it's like kind of like a water lily type of, I don't know, I don't even know, like a lotus flower type of thing. Um, and over here is the Louis Vuitton 2016, um, what do you call it, uh, bookmark type thing. Uh, that's what it comes with and I'm not really going to use it this year. I did use the butterfly one last year and it was okay, but it, it gets a little annoying and I hate how um, the sides of it started folding and what whatever and got crumpled. So I'm just going to safely tuck that over here. Okay, so for the first time ever, I purchased a laminating machine and literally, oh my gosh, that was the best purchase of 2015 uh, to get me ready for 2016 with the whole decorating and everything. Um, and after this one, one time use, um, just for the agenda itself, I can make gifts, which I did with, for my friend, uh, who also has a Louis Vuitton agenda and, um, I can use it for other things. But anyways, I decided to decorate my own, make my own fly leaves, my own folders, inserts, whatnot, and laminate them because I have a laminating machine now and I'm super excited about it. Okay, anyways, um, this paper, this silver paper right here, I actually purchased from Michael's Arts and Crafts Store. It came in a thick pack and um, it was just like card paper. Um, this is a rubber stamp, um, this crown theme thing that I have going on. So basically my whole agenda, um, I purchased this stamp, rubber stamp for like $1.99 and basically kept using the same stamp, stamp throughout to decorate and that's why it has this like kind of royal type of theme. Um, got this cool sticker, Attitude is Everything. Obviously you could print this out but I found this cool pack of stickers in um, Michael Tarson Craft Store and it had lots of 
interesting sta- sayings that I actually relate with. So I decided to purchase it. Normally, I don't purchase those stickers because they're kind of tacky and I don't really love all the sayings that they come with. A little bit of it is a little bit cringe, but um, I quite like this sticker pack and I liked some of the meaning behind it. Over here, I put just like a pink piece of paper, taped it down. Then I bought these all other pink stickers that were also on sale at Michael's Arts and Craft Store, stuck it on, and then laminated the whole thing. And on the back, I also decorated with another sheet of card paper. This is like the silver, I don't know, snakeskin one. And um, the pack of paper also came with um, these uh, card cutouts. So I just cut out this card and some pink paper and created this, and it just says the best is yet to come. Anyways, moving on, here is the Louis Vuitton 2016 Agenda cover. This is what it comes with when you buy the actual inserts, and I just kept that in there because it's kind of like a harder paper, so it's nice. It's like a nice little transition. That's what it says. Uh, I'm not going to show you the next page because it's like all my personal information, so we can just skip on over. It's just basically like really boring stuff. Some random Louis Vuitton, I don't know, messages in different languages, whatever. And then here you have the full year, all the dates uh, of 2016, months, day, uh, for every year, all the month overview, yearly overview. Uh, so I kept that in there. And then here, another cool sticker um, that I like. Some people might find it tacky, whatever. I like it. Um, it says, every accomplishment starts with the decision to try, which I kind of relate with. Um, I kind of just, that's like my personality. I just, even though I think I'm going to fail, I'm just going to do it anyways. And so far, it's worked out for me. So um, <laughs> I do relate with this quote quite a bit. Um, I decided to decorate again with the stamp crown motif. And then I also bought another rot rotary um, stamp thing. And it came with cool quotes. And the quote that I stamped on was uh, make things happen. So it kind of like relates to one another. Uh, I have washi tape in this holographic um I don't know, print. And that one was from Scotch Tape, I think. Yeah, they, they, they do washi tapes now. They're not actually washi tape, but I mean, it's like pattern tape. It's a lot more sticky than regular washi tape. Anyways, that's how I made this page. And then over here, uh, be amazing today. I don't know. This not really a saying that I live by, but, um, the card that came with the pack had just itself the silver and amazing and I had these on sale stickers so I put B and then I wrote in today. I felt like that made a little more sense instead of just having amazing because I don't know that, that that was a little weird for me. So I tried to customize it as best as possible for myself and anyways there was this pattern for um, the metallic um, in the metallic page set or whatever you call it, the booklet. So I decided to cover um, the back side of it because it it's not a double-sided print uh, for, uh, for the silver paper. So I double wrapped it. Um, I also created this tab right here and how I created this tab was actually, um, I found this regular stationary thing that I have that has these little tabs and I just traced over with another pattern paper which was these small dots and um, I cut it out, stuck it in, sandwiched it in between the snake print and the this other print and then just create it then laminated the whole thing and it's perfect love it more louis vuitton paper and here this year for louis vuitton they decided to give us a monthly overview which is fabulous and amazing and i didn't realize this so i purchased my own monthly inserts anyways but um i love that it comes with it and i really like the quality of the louis vuitton paper obviously it's high quality uh and i love the fact that um, I didn't have to purchase it even though I did purchase extra inserts, but whatever that's besides the point um, Here I have just this little bookmark. This was my old school bookmark that I had Made originally from my old agenda, but I just carried it on to 2016 and basically um, this is from Lotere, obviously um, the Macaroon box. I just after purchasing the macaroons. I just cut off the top and it fit perfectly, hole punched it and just used it as a bookmark last year. And I also put in this little tab that I created myself and how I created these tabs were, uh, I'm not sure if I brought any with me, but oh yeah, here they are. I used one of these tabs and I just stuck it on the back. Uh, and then I put washi tape, sparkly gold washi tape on top of it. And the washi tape I used is this. It's kind of this like sandpaper glitter. I don't know how to explain, but I purchased this on Etsy. I forgot who the seller was, but I don't know. Um, if I find the link, I'll put it down below. Um, I just put it on top and then I just wrote with 
permanent marker, my plan, overview, whatever. I couldn't really think, I didn't want to put monthly because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep with that system year by year. But um, I think that's like kind of a generic thing, generic label, and I can use it for anything. So anyways, that's why um, I, I really love these stickies. They're really stiff and durable. So that's why I decided to use that. Um, stuck it on the back of that. And then again, with the card paper, um, last year, I just didn't have anything in between. It was just like the cardboard itself from the actual macaroon box. Uh, but this year I decided to jazz it up and I put this striped metallic card paper that came with that set that I used to make these other inserts and sandwiched um, the little sticky note in between so you couldn't see the end and then put the same washi tape over top. Anyways, not that important. Okay, and then after you flip through all of the months, I created this page. This is kind of tacky. I don't know. Some people might think this is cringeworthy or whatever, but I have a photo of myself, obviously. Anyways, this is my graduate, one of the photos I took during my graduation date. Lots of hard work went into getting this photo, uh, not, not actually taking the photo, but I mean, getting to the place where I was to be able to take that photo and to graduate from law school so um really happy about that um really symbolic picture for me personally um so i decided to even decorate it a little more with some more spontaneous kind of inspirational stickers that i found at my arts and crafts so that's where you go to get crafting things uh this one says work hard make it happen and then bam yeah love the setup of this uh i picked some photos that and quotes that i have on my instagram feed and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, uh, you don't have to, but I'll link it down below if you want to. Um, so these are just some quotes that I really, I don't know, just so me and resonates with me. And some photos that I took of uh, different places that I've been and that uh, were, I don't know, just like nice little memories, little memories for myself to look at and reflect on. I'm not going to show you the next page. I'm just going to quickly like cover the important bits, but I'll still show you it. Um, this page, I have my schedule, my school schedule. Um, and if you guys don't know, I'm doing a master's program right now. And a lot of you guys, after my um, how to get into law school type of video, have asked um, what I'm doing right now. So that's that. I'm, I'm in a master's program. Um, but that's basically my schedule for the spring semester. And uh, anyways, moving on, this over here is another piece of Louis Vuitton paper. And then here is what I bought. This this I bought also at the San Rio store. They have like great paper stuff. I mean, I'm not a crazy fan of Hello Kitty and um, San Rio cutesy type of things, but uh, I thought that the quality of the paper was great and I couldn't find something like this anywhere else. I hate the stuff at Staples uh, with low quality paper because the paper's so thin that you can actually see your writing through it and that so, um, I really loved the quality of this paper and this actually came in a plastic calendar set. So uh, basically this whole thing was put into like this weird clear plastic um, frame and then you can put it as a desk calendar. And what I did was I just slipped the paper through the plastic and hole punched it and threw it in my agenda. Initially, I was gonna hole punch this side so that I could write like this, but then I thought that would just ruin, I don't know, the cute pattern or whatever. And there was just like the perfect room on this side along the border to punch holes without ruining any of the graphics so I decided to go with this layout instead anyways if I want to write on it I can just take it out of the rings and write whatever I needed to write um for the monthly overview any due dates or whatever but since I also have like the double double the, the whammy with the Louis Vuitton monthly um I don't have to be too picky with this one I can probably figure out some other organizational things to put on this monthly sheet. So this one's month of January and each one comes with a different design. I'm just going to go on to the month after just to show you guys or see each one comes with like another design that's relatable to that month. I don't know what baking has to do with February, but I guess that's in there. Love hearts, I guess for Valentine's Day, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and then the one after March, which is like spring, which kind of makes sense. I guess strawberries are in season <laughs> in, in, in Japan. Uh, getting off topic. Um, so then that's that. Okay. And then for my day to day, this is weekly overview hourly. I love hourly because I need to see 
all my appointments, all like my schedule and everything. It's kind of bare because it is the new year and it's holidays. So I don't really have any, I'm, I'm like pretty much free. Um, for once in my life, I have exams before Christmas. So I have my Christmas totally free and I don't have to study or anything. And I'm really appreciating that. But um, anyways, this whole thing would be filled up if I had exams and I probably wouldn't even film this video because I'd be studying. But anyways, that's that. Created this bookmark day-to-day -day tab and how I did that again as you can see obsessed with this crown stamp that I got for $1.99 at Michael's Arts and Crafts store and how I created this weird um kind of shadow holographic thing it's a little bit dirty because obviously this is my first time making my own inserts and I kind of smudged the ink but anyways we'll just ignore that um how I made this like weird um vibrating crown was first I used a colored um multicolored ink pad stamped it in there did it once, wiped off the ink, and then got some other uh, portions like the purple and the green area, um, those inks, stamped it again, and then finally stamped the black one on. And it just created this weird vibrating crown type thing. I'm not 100% sure if I like that better than just like the stiff crown, but it just adds a little bit of character. And I love how it's a little bit messy and it's kind of homemade. So, well, it is homemade. So, it adds to that kind of um, rustic kind of look. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but um, that's that. Uh, the whole theme of this bookmark is just, I was like vibing on 70s, like Britain, I guess. And maybe that's why it's so themed that way. But anyways, um, this was also a card uh, that came with that set. And I'm just going to show you guys real quick what that set looked like. This was that pad of paper. Um, it's the silver foil, uh, whatever, you can just read it for yourself, but it's from the brand Craftsmith, and it's just really great. It's just for, um, I guess it's for scrapbookers, but the metallic in it is really high quality, and it's pretty much like a mirror. Um, if you get close enough, you can probably see yourself, like... If you can see my camera, that's my handheld camera. Anyways, uh, but anyways, this is the page that I cut out and I just picked the ones that I liked. Oh, this was the Be Amazing Today thing that I kind of custom made with that card. And then Live a Beautiful Life came from this. Okay, so that's that. I just cut that out, stuck it on top of this card thing and then just decorated around it with washi tape. All of this is washi tape that I cut. And then on the back, more washi tape. And then here for yesterday, I went to the Raptors game. If you guys didn't see, uh, I was actually on TV. I was sitting and creeping behind Jeremy Lin. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you would know, but I don't often give it out, give out my Snapchat to uh, the public. So friends who are watching, if you guys saw my Snapchat, you would have seen that. Um, okay, so as I was saying, with these Hello Kitty stickers, they're the perfect size for the hourly appointment things. And see how they fit like perfect? love that and the way I do it is I do it in between so this one starts at 1 p.m like this nail appointment oh, these are my nails by the way that I got done at the nail salon that was that appointment but anyways um this nail appointment was at one o'clock so I just put it like smack dab in this I centered it with the 13 so that I know the time and that's how I like to do it some people would do it further down so it would fill up the column between 13 and 14 but I just prefer having it like that I don't know it's just me I just like having the numbers right beside the written appointment if that makes any sense and then to do like whatever to do just the average check boxes and that's from that post-it note or whatever hello kitty sticker i don't know i don't know why i said hello kitty sticker that's so weird a stack of stickers came from happy planner and it just comes with you can get this at michael's arts and craft and it comes with all these gold foil um stickers for agendas and if you guys haven't noticed already, I'm obsessed with gold and metallics. So that's the reason for that. And I just wrote in the New Year's. And then again, this is how it looks like. Oh yeah, I also do um, washi tape on the edges and then I re-hole re punch everything so that I get a little bit more color. Uh, as you can see, I don't really go crazy with the decorations like a lot of other planner, planner people, but uh, that's how I do it. I just like to keep it very, very neat and simple. Uh, the next folder, if I can find, yeah, this is the next folder after all the months is everything will be okay in the end. Again, came with that sticker pack that I purchased from Michael's Arts and Craft store. And I just did the same thing with the foil paper, put 
a piece of construction paper, colored construction paper, put the sticker that I got from the quote sticker from Michaels. And then I put the gold washi tape, which is like my favorite washi tape. I really need to find out where I got this because I want to repurchase it. I'm almost done with my little roll. But um, yeah, that's that. And then on this side, this is my least favorite page that I created. Um, yeah, it did not turn out the way I want it to, but I just put noted. Um, this also came with the foil paper set and I don't know, I just kind of tried to decorate it and make it look nice, but it did not turn out 100% the way I would like, but uh, it's okay. It's kind of at the back of my agenda anyways. And anyways, these stamps um, were also from that rotary stamp thing that I purchased and I just tried to do it in different colors. It kind of smudged and whatever. I wanted to keep uh, not waste this piece of paper so I just continued and stamped on even though it doesn't look perfect so whatever I'm not really too crazy about it I decided to put noted on here because behind this piece of art that I created myself uh yeah I did a little pen and ink drawing like a while back this was like two years ago I guess um that I created this it was like a random doodle I was like supposed to be studying or whatever but I decided to start doodling and this is what came out of it um but anyways, behind this, uh, I just have Filofax paper, and that's the reason for this. So if I ever want to note down anything, I can just flip using, again, the tab that I created and have access to blank Filofax paper to jot anything down. Okay, moving along, I have this pocket here and this wonderful graphic at the very back, also laminated. I'm not gonna show you guys because it has my actual name on it, but I created this as well, also pen and ink drawing. Uh, I do a lot of drawing on the side, but uh, I put that behind this, um, this sheet uh, because everything, for some reason, when I close this uh, binder type of system, a, a lot of paper curls naturally. I don't know why. I think I just have to center it, and if I don't center all the paper before closing the book. Uh, it crumples it a little. It doesn't crumple, but it, it kind of bends it like a weird way here in the here in the margins. So um, to prevent that, I put it this laminated piece of paper there, and at the same time, it adds for more decoration because it's my own personalized art. Anyways, in this little pocket right here, I have just some gold stickers, gold foil. Uh, stickers obviously gold because I love italics and then some random miscellaneous stuff that I have nowhere else to put uh, I just have in this pocket I'm not obsessed with this pocket because I don't like the fact that this I don't know if I guess you guys can see but this zipper does not lay flat so I'm just not a big fan of this weird bulky bulky gap so if any of you guys out there know of an a5 zipper pocket that is relatively cheap and that lays flat instead of being so super bulky please let me know and comment down below and i would really like to purchase it oh yeah i forgot to talk about this cool paper clip also got it from michael starts and craft get it while it lasts because i know these things like tend to disappear off the shelf all the time but yeah, got this at Michael's as well. Yes, they sell cool things sometimes if you have look out for it. Um, but anyways, in the pen, as I explained, I got this when I first got the agenda. It's starting to get loose now, so I might switch this out. But this is my pen. Um, it is the Muji pen or pen pen. It's a Muji pen and it's in 0.7 mm. I am a thin, thin pen girl. I love writing with really, really thin fine point pens and this is perfect for me um and it also the size of it fits perfect in the loop well it used to fit a little more snug it's, it's gotten a little loose these days but still works and I love that it's silver because it matches with my silver hardware so anyways that's that um that's my agenda overview for 2016 hope you guys enjoyed this video it's my first time doing this video and i'm really excited about it and excited to plan excited to decorate excited to create more things for the new year and uh definitely going to get into this even more in the next couple of years i've been wanting to well i've been planning to use this agenda for the long run because I did spend so much money on it actually I didn't spend that much money on it, it was gift but it's worth a lot of money so I I do just uh do have the intentions to use this for a long long time and also if you guys were wondering this cute little boy twin star uh uh 
peg clip thing uh, I got as a free gift after purchasing all these like sticky notes and whatnot at the store. So if you guys want to get one of these, um, go into the store, maybe ask them, purchase something and see if they still have these uh, for free. Uh, so that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed my agenda video. Uh, first one of its kind. And I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so for before I forget, which I just did, um, I want to show you guys the agenda inserts that I created for my friend. This is her Christmas gift from me to her. First time I didn't even purchase her anything. I just made it with my hands. And I think it's a lot more thoughtful than actually buying her a gift. So um, this is it right here. This is the agenda uh, inserts that I created for her Louis Vuitton monogram, monogram, monogram agenda. Attached everything with this cute little um, paper clip that I found at Michael's Arts and Crafts store. And I'm just gonna put this on the side as I film this. Uh, so first off, I created this mini fly leaf type of thing um, just to put some post-it notes for her um, to use. I don't know if she ever uses post-it notes or whatever, but I decided to include that in there as well. And I just punched some holes so that she can easily put that in her agenda without doing it herself. Here I created an even better uh, bookmark than the one that I have. I really love the design of this one. This was my second attempt of creating a bookmark and I think I really hit the nail on the head with this one. It's really pretty. I love the design. It's so streamlined yet glamorous and sparkly and crazy. Uh, again, use the same crown motif uh, theme with the uh, rubber stamp that I purchased. And here, as you can see, I left a little bit of the um, laminated page on at the very tip. And the reason for that is, I don't know if she wants to put like a gemstone or if she wants to hole punch it and put some like sparkly thread through it to even like make it even more crazy than it already is. I mean, this is gonna be blasting out of her agenda at the very top, but um, yeah, if she wanted to take it to that next level, she can always put like a rhinestone up here. So it would be like kind of like a, a floating rhinestone or hole punch it and then put some uh, ribbon or something like that. I don't know. But that's that. I created that for her. Handmade by me. Uh, created this front, uh, front page for her because it's so... I don't know. It's so her. I took this off of her Tumblr, actually. I'll link her Tumblr down below. It's amazing. Um, it has just all these glamorous photos. And I really liked this set, this combo. So I decided to use that. And it's one of the, her more recent um, uploads. So I think she will really appreciate that. Um, she also posted this quote on her Instagram. So I decided to put that up there. <laughs> I'm just gonna cover her face real quick ah! okay so here is really simple I just she's a bit of a narcissist herself so um I decided to put those photos up there of herself as well she 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 also has a YouTube channel I'll link it down below but she does more um luxury goods and that's one of the luxury goods her amazing Louis Vuitton backpack um so that's just a cool picture I really like of her and I decided to select that just at the back so she has like something to look at. And if you guys want to see, I'm not going to show you guys her actual face. But that's her meeting the Jonas Brothers. Her as in finger. Uh, I don't know if she wants you guys to see that picture. Get rid of it. Okay. So that's the page. And then the next page, I just have her name, Tiffany. If you guys want to follow her channel, it's called Fabulux Tiffany on YouTube. And I created this page for her with the crown motif and with the sparkly paper. I kept this really, really simple. I tried to pick a mint color because I think she likes mint and blue type of themes more so than pink. I'm more of a pink girl. She's more of a blue cool tones type of girl so I went with that color I left a little bit of space right here and as you can see I, I, I put a little sticky note to let her know why I put that space there is so that she could put a little piece of tape and write in whatever year it is for that year and then continuously use the same laminated piece of paper through and through for many many years to come so that's the reasoning behind that and I think that's a really clever idea that I came up with Finally here, I created this handwritten sort of card um, to 
two different types of foil paper. I uh, love the contrast of this two patterns. And then I used a blue piece of construction paper and wrote uh, using my own handwriting, the best is yet to come. Really, really love how this turned out. I love the contrast with the gold pen and then the blue in the background and the black pen um, to highlight and shadow. Uh, and then I did two gold pieces of tape just to add a little accent and also to make it look like I, it's like kind of just smacked, stabbed off, or I don't even know what the word I'm looking for. Just kind of slapped on with like two pieces of tape and that's the whole reasoning behind that. So that's all the folder inserts. I also created this other fly leaf for her, uh, just for some more um, decorating type of business going on. Extra sticky. Yeah, push that down. Extra sticky and just some extra sticky notes if she wants to insert that in as well. So that's all I created for her. I hope she enjoys it. I know I would if I received something like this because I'm totally into planning right now and decorating my agenda the way I like it. And uh, it, it's so her because there's like pictures of her obviously and there's also um, stuff from her Instagram and her Tumblr and I think she'll really appreciate that. Also, I forgot to give her this last time, but she really likes Andy Warhol and Andy Warhol makes some dope ass um, sticky notes. So I included that with the package. I mean, she was expecting to get this anyway, so it's not like a huge surprise. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this portion as well and get some more inspiration. If you guys are more into this sort of style of uh, agenda inserts, and uh, thank you for watching again, once again. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this new type of video. If you guys are really into planning, planners, whatnot, uh, please let me know, leave a comment down below and maybe I'll start a new series, a new playlist for you guys, all on that. And if you guys wanna check out some makeup tutorials, some reviews, some haul videos, I have separate playlists for that as well on my main channel. So if you just click on my name or whatever um, on the YouTube thing. It'll take you to my page and then you can select a playlist and then just play the videos and check it out. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching once again. Um, and yeah, see you guys in my next one. Bye.